Dwayne The Rock Johnson, famously known for being a WWE superstar, an awesome actor, which I'm super excited for Black Adam, and his famous bull tattoo. This tattoo, the bull, has always been very meaningful to The Rock, but it didn't look the best. And even The Rock knew this. He wanted to go and change or cover up his old Brahma bull tattoo with something a little bit more detailed. So this is the story of the evolution of The Rock's bull tattoo. Finally, yeah. And real quick, take a second to hit that subscribe button below and join the Evolve community for all your tattoo related content. The very first version of the bull tattoo is actually a nod to his WWE nickname, the Brahma Bull. The Rock stated in an interview that this was his very first ever tattoo, and he got it at a very young age, back in 1997. The first version of the bull tattoo is very small, it comes with a pair of red eyes and a very angry expression. Now he got this tattoo in the great city of Chicago, right before one of his wrestling matches, which realistically probably wouldn't be the best idea, but let's continue. The Rock stated that he knew exactly at that moment when he went to go get the first bull tattoo that he eventually wanted to evolve, I like his choice of words, that tattoo later on down the line. When it came to evolve the bull tattoo, The Rock stated that he searched for a while for a tattoo artist till he stumbled upon an artist that he hooked up with named Nico Hereto. Dwayne said that he thinks that he is one of the best artists on the planet. And by looking at this guy's work, he's pretty good. Once they connected, they started talking immediately of what design Dwayne wanted. It took them a whole year to come up with a design, going through multiple different concepts to make sure that everything that The Rock wanted incorporated in the tattoo was there. They went through 12 different concepts and The Rock stated that he still felt like there was something missing. It wasn't until he traveled back to his hometown with his family when inspiration struck. He stated that every morning when he was in Hawaii, he would get up and just look at the ocean. As the waves were crashing down, he stated that they symbolized power, and that's where inspiration struck. He said that the waves, the ocean, was that missing piece to the tattoo to make it complete. The waves were the anchoring element to give the tattoo power and protection. Immediately, he called up Nico and said that he found the final thing that was needed. It's the ocean. After one whole year of brainstorming ideas and going through multiple different concepts, this was the design that they settled on. The skull of the bull that represents the rock and his family, and it is anchored and given life by the power of the ocean. This whole tattoo took three sessions and 22 hours to complete. The Rock stated that this tattoo and the evolution of the piece represents what he wants to become going forward in the future. Now, after he got this tattoo done, he said something that really personally stuck out to me. The artistic expression at its most raw state is the single most unique thing that brings everyone together. It doesn't matter what color you are, where you come from, your culture, your religion, your bank account, or what car you drive. None of that matters. At its rawest, most real state, tattooing brings everyone together because it comes down to a few simple elements. The ink, the tattoo machine, the chair, the spirit in the room, the connection between you and your tattoo artist, and of course, the music. And I thought that was pretty rad. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a nice big thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.